So I was originally gonna have this video a part of my weekly vlog uh, videos, but um, I feel this subject kind of deserves its own real talk video. I feel so. I mean, I'm recording this as it goes, so nothing is scripted or anything. But um, I I guess I just want to spend this video just talking about depression, really. So. About a week ago, I watched a YouTuber who mainly talks about video games, who I follow. And I've been following him for quite a few years now. And in all that time, he's always quite, you know, he has quite a cheery personality and is always quite kind of comedian, comedic and just overall loves talking about video games and just seems really cheerful and happy and can get you know frustrated and angry at games and stuff like that but nothing about him s speaks well signifies that he has a depression which he recently made a video about a, about a week ago Revealing that he's had depression for almost 20 years now. So that to me just says that, you know, anyone who can be so cheerful and really like just, you know, just like really happy and loves talking about video games, loves playing them and overall quite a easygoing kind of guy on his videos. Even someone like that can suffer from mental health and depression and it just makes it just makes you realise that depression and mental health is a very serious illness that can heavily affect people well it does heavily affect people and despite that it's very invisible so like it's a very invisible illness that really can strongly affect someone's entire life I mean I can speak from that personally since I've had mental health and depression for just a little bit over 20 years now so I mean at the moment I'm feeling just really stuck and really low in myself and that's kind of what motivated me to kind of make this video as well and in that video, that YouTuber mentions that there's a certain stigma associated with men having mental health. Like he says that uh, women uh, have an easier time expressing their mental health and depression and kind of uh, lay out their emotions to someone a bit easier than men and I do kind of agree with him on that because men tend to not share their emotions and kind of inner mental health with others I mean I have difficulty with that myself and it seems like a lot of the mass majority of people feel that men it's a stigma for men to have mental health like they automatically think that because you're a man you, sh you should be able to you know manage your mental health well not even have mental health I guess and like kind of like you know be a man you know don't don't fall into your emotions you know just be a man be the strong guy and you know, kind of stuff like that, but um, 
with that I don't really agree because I feel that like women, men are you know, mental health affects men pretty much the same way as women. It's just that men have a harder time expressing their emotions or seeking help for their mental health. And again, I, I can personally uh, agree with that. But um, I'd just like to say that just ignore the stigma, I guess. I mean, if you're a man and you do have, you see, you do suffer from mental health and depression, then, you know, it took me a while to do it, but seek help, really. Just because you're a man with mental health, trying to seek for someone's help doesn't make you weak or anything. It, I guess it's, it's just someone, well, you just want to, you know, just ignore if you're a man or woman. If you need help with your mental health, then seek help. You know, if, if that person's going to judge you, then, you know, that just, I guess, either that person, be it family member or friend, if that person dis disregards your uh, seeking help or your emotions, and I don't know what to say, like, I guess that person is not not really a family member or a friend if they're not going to help you or even try to understand your mental health. And I know that sounds a bit harsh, but, you know, if they're not going to help you, then you must seek help elsewhere, be it a doctor or psychiatrist. Like, just try and reach out, I suppose, is what I'm saying. But, um, what annoys me is sometimes when I'm outside, like, in t walking at shops or something, like, this per this happened to me personally many years ago when I was about, in my teenage years, I was just kind of, I think I was in college, I think, it was like lunchtime and I was just eating at the cafeteria and then I think there was this girl sitting on the table next to mine and then she was alone and then one of her friends arrived late and then the first thing that the friend said was something like oh I'm so depressed today and then the friend on the table asked why and then she just basically said Oh, um, like, I, I, I was in a rush today, I couldn't do my makeup properly, or, and I think she also said something about, um, she, she's going through a bad hair day, and then she was just, like, casually saying, I'm so depressed today because, you know, my hair's not the way I want it to look, or anything. And then I'm just thinking, firstly, I'm annoyed, but I'm thinking, look, if that, if having a, if the hair is not the way you want and that's making you depressed, then I'm sorry, but you, you don't know what real depression is. Like, depression affects a person's whole life and depression makes it makes each day just like a drag to live really and it's makes each morning a real pain and drag just to wake up out of bed and depression just makes someone isolate themselves kind of isolate themselves in their own world, just feeling 
extremely low in their mood, not having any motivation at all, feeling like it's a pain and just a huge drag just to live each minute really and not knowing what to do with yourself not having any goals achievements in your life that you aim for the future and sadly and many times depression can make someone in the end feel so awful in themselves and just the world it can in the end make someone just take their own life so you know that's what real depression is and what depression means and again for someone who's had depression for 20 years now I can trust me when I say I I know what I'm talking about when it comes to depression and even now I'm just like I mentioned already I'm just feeling really low feels like a drag each minute just not knowing what to do like I have no motivation I just don't feel like doing any hobbies I mean, today is Saturday, and usually on a Saturday is when I go to the gaming meetup. But today I just... Part of me wants to go, but at the same time it just feels like it's such a drag to get dressed, get out there, travel, and then traveling back home. It's, it's just... I just feel like when I'm in this state, I'm not good company and I don't want to, you know, when I'm there, drag the people down with my problems and and stuff. But, um, yeah, like I said, if you do have depression or mental health, then I know it's hard and often you tend to just bottle it all up and just isolate yourself but please motivate yourself to seek help really be it a friend or family member and if they don't help or understand you then seek help elsewhere like a doctor or psychiatrist so yeah that's kind of what I wanted to say in this video really like watching that YouTubers video about depression kind of motivated myself to kind of you know spread what depression is a bit more I guess and kind of express my own my own personal story with depression as well so you know, depression is a very real illness and and fortunately it's, it is becoming a worldwide uh, like ill, what's the word, like medical term in doctors and stuff. So back then in the 90s when I first started having mental health and depression, like the doctors didn't really know how to they didn't know what was wrong with me and that's because back then depression and mental health was not obscure but just not treated as a serious illness in medical terms but fortunately in now it is becoming more of a medical term so if you go to a doctor and then you know they diagnose you as having depression and mental health then now they offer services to help treat you and stuff be it medication or psychiatrist appointments or whatever like it's actually 
treated as a serious medical term now, so... Yeah, depression is very real, it affects millions of people every day and it just continues to grow, uh, sadly. But at the same time, it's it's such a big medical term, but at the same time, it's very invisible to a person unless they come out and seek help. So yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say in this video. So if you found this video helpful or, you know, I've helped you to maybe consider seeking help then please please do um yeah i just wanted to kind of spread more awareness about mental health and depression and hopefully i've helped who's ever watching this video be it be it they become more aware to what depression mental health is or maybe help them if they suffer from mental health themselves to maybe seek help themselves so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about in this video so thank you for watching and yeah i'll be back with the uh, weekly vlog videos for next Saturday.